I finally get it. Good things do come in small packages. Hey guys, it's Jamie Slays and today I'm reviewing the Bogner Ecstasy Head, but in the mini version! Look at it! So a while ago the guys over at Booty Camp sent me a Soldano head and they've today sent me the Bogner Ecstasy mini head. So you've probably heard of the Bogner Ecstasy head before and this is the mini version. It's a 30 watt head with basically two channels. It's got an effects loop on the back and the speaker outputs. And if you're used to Bogner layouts, it's basically the same. Pleasantly surprised. It sounds amazing as you'll hear in a sec when I do some demos. And yeah, I'm going to set up my iPhone camera so you can see kind of twiddling the dials and it's going into a uh, two notes capture load box into my focus right into logic and then i'm using the ggd zilla studio cabs app to load the cabs into it as you can see on the screen it basically looks like any other bogner ecstasy head but a small version you've got your volume knob presence knob treble middle bass and gain then there's a variac option gain plus and minus mid frequencies low neutral and high pre eq b1 neutral and B2. So I've got my guitar here, I'm just going to chug away, change some of the dials and we'll hear how that sounds. So as you can hear there, changing the dials makes a big difference. The Variac option just here, when it's turned on, will make the amp slightly quieter, but more compressed and a bit tighter sounding. The Gain Plus, as you can tell, is a gain boost, which as you can hear, I'm really impressed. With no boost pedals, no anything like that, it just sounds super responsive and gives me as much gain as I need. And I don't even have the gain on halfway. Then we've got the uh, mid frequencies and the pre-EQ. I'm going to play around with those now and we'll just see how much of a difference it makes. I think I like it on L the most. Now let's try the uh, pre-EQ. And on that one, I like B2 the most. I've just noticed as well, we don't even have the gain on plus, so let's try that.
Let's just try the gain on full without it boosted. Now let's turn it back down a bit, boost it, and then turn it up gradually. I don't know about you, but I actually prefer the amp boosted, but the gain turned down a little bit. When you turn the gain all the way up, I think it gives it a bit too much bass. Um, I'm just going to try play around with some, you know, famous preset settings. Let's try, you know, the kind of age-old Metallica preset. I think, um, in a good way for me, the treble plays quite a big part in this amp sound because as soon as I turn the treble down from where I want it, it kind of loses the tone that I really like. Yeah, because even with the presence on full, but the treble below halfway, it doesn't really kind of open up as much as I'd like it to. I turned the treble down a little bit and it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. That's just my personal preference. If you had a boost or a, a kind of a pedal in front of it, you might be able to tweak it a bit more, but for me, this is how I like it the most.
So there you have it. That was the Bogner Ecstasy Mini Head. I really like it. It sounds awesome. It sounds great through my cab. It sounds great through the GGD Zilla plugin and coming out of Logic. Um, obviously you can change all the cab sounds as well because that was the signal going in and then you can tweak it all after. What I was saying about the treble, obviously the cab can make a huge difference there as well. I was using the Nolly Modern Chunk uh, preset, but if you use a different IR loader or a different cab in the app, uh, it could sound completely different. Um, so yeah, that's just my preference. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought, which one was your favorite when I was tweaking the knobs and all that kind of stuff. Thanks again to the guys at Booty Camps and Bogner for sending the amp on over. Really appreciate it. I've got a Friedman Mini head coming as well. If any of you have played it, let me know in the conversation below what it's like. And if you enjoyed anything about today's video, leave it a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and ding the bell because I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me. All right, I'll see you guys next week for some more Metal Riff videos. Bye everyone.